I was reading about this group, the uh, Flat Earthers. Oh, God, right. One of these jokers took a level on a plane to show that it didn't move. 12 million hits on YouTube. The video debunking it, 1.5 million. That's embarrassing. And I don't just mean that you're keeping track of those numbers. Flat Earther is the story of Martin and Cassandra's second date, and it's going exceptionally well until they start talking about conspiracy theories. Oh. It's hard to not be skeptical with things like Tuskegee out there. Starting a war over non-existent weapons of mass destruction. Gun control. And it takes them to a dark place neither one of them expected. Not everything they show you is real. And we shot it as one uninterrupted nine-minute take. This film is based on a stage play that was written by my friend Mario Rivas, who I met at USC Film School. I instantly fell in love with the play and really thought it was going to make a great short film because you only have two characters, it's one location, and it has a great twist at the end. What I'm looking for when I cast an actor is a conversation partner. They're going to be my storytelling partners in the film. And the last time I had done a political-oriented film was Electoral Emissions, and I had a wonderful actor named Joe Holt. And I suggest you do some research, collect unbiased information, do what's best for your car. Brian brought him in because he believed that Joe had the, the acting chops to uh, do this basically nine minute, 10 minute scene all in one shot. And so he did. Joe was so thoughtful and specific. I knew he was gonna be the right partner to have on this because he would have probably even a stronger opinion on the material than I have. Working with Brian as a director is exactly what you want out of a collaborative experience. He listens, he's open, he's interested. He wants to find the best product just like we want to find the best product. So it's nice to have uh, everybody's objectives sort of in the same place. I asked him if I could be involved in some of the casting decisions and I brought in my friend Amy Sloan. Joe is such a great actor. Wonderful as a professional and as a friend. He's always up to like play and try new things. So working with him is just nothing but a joy. She's just tremendously natural and uh, you always feel like she lifts your game. You have to respond likewise. But I mean, but the truth of it is she's a bitch. Full bitch. I'm sitting right here. Oh, I meant to say that at times right I don't understand her genius. <laughs> We talked through the script and the ideas, and Amy had as much insight about what was in the script as Joe did. I knew I had found the right conversation partners. In the end, mainly on the confidence of Amy and Joe, we decided to keep the whole thing one shot. The fact that the actors were willing to say, no, we can do this, just keep the camera on us, really was the deciding factor, I think, for us.